to the second part in this series about rebuilding my Stirling engine. Um, first I wanted to go a little bit deeper into the design changes I made so far before going to the SolidWorks drawing. Um, I had all the printed drawings from the previous build and with the experience from that engine I decided to make a few changes. Um, on the one hand I wanted to make the engine a little bit smaller because I think it's unnecessary big in some points but in other points uh, I needed some more space for example right here um, these are the two threaded rods in the middle and um, this is the board where the cylinders uh, were so this is the left this place the cylinder and the right one um, and we had a piece of wood over here with a bearing in it and then we had the crank from that um, cylinder there and the space between the two was just um, not enough so I wanted to increase uh, that space I spent a lot of time trying to get the dimensions like I wanted them um, I basically changed uh, the things I wanted to change and then I had to work out all the other dimensions until everything would fit together uh, and it came out really nice I think I hope like I mentioned earlier um, the space between the crankshaft and the bearing um, I managed to increase that so I have more space um, for my crankshaft uh, so this is the drawing of the top of the engine um, this here is the displacer cylinder and then this is the power cylinder and they would just overlap and there I drilled a hole in the plate between them so the air can transfer from the displacer cylinder to the power cylinder my previous engine um, it was just a hole for, from 11 millimeters and I managed to increase that to 23 and a half and another great thing is in my previous engine I just drilled a hole but now I'm going to cut it with a water jet cutter and that way I can make the exact shape like this is so we get better airflow from the displacer cylinder into the power cylinder another thing I, ch I changed I moved the threaded rods a little bit closer to the cylinder so that we get a better ceiling um, and another thing um, the distance between the threaded rods and the outside was 20 millimeters and that was just good and here it was 25 that's now also 20 so that way I can reduce the size of the stirring engine in this direction um, overall it grew a little bit longer because I needed more space for the crankshaft I figured out and the width of the depth of the engine uh, reduced a little bit because I moved the thread rods closer and um, the outside rim is smaller now I'm happy with the design changes I made um, they're not very big changes um, the overall design remains the same but um, the changes address a few problems I had with the previous engine and I think with this improvements it, it will be a better engine so thank you all for watching um, watch out for my next video where I will be showing you the SolidWorks drawing